day three and it's the crack of dawn. We're heading up the old man of store. Didn't quite realize how steep the track was up from the car park, especially at six in the morning. I haven't got up at four to drive up here and with a backpack full of stuff. But won't be long until golden hour starts. We get some beautiful light on the old man, which is just up here. But while I'm walking up, take a look at this view. So after much toil and a slightly steeper walk than I thought it was going to be, we made it up to the cliff viewpoint. If you look just below me, that's the photographer's table as they call it. There's some people standing taking photos now. Some great views from there. You can get a little bit more elevation here, but it is very windy. I wonder how my dead cat's doing. So I brought all my lenses, which was a mistake. Travel light if you can. But I'll be mainly shooting with my 24 to 70 and I've been sticking the 14 mil on as well to get a wide angle view across the locks and the islands over there. It's about eight o'clock now, morning. It feels like midday. But we've caught all of the sunrise light. See, it just bathes those little mounds down there. Looks absolutely stunning. There's a lock in the background. But it might be time to go and grab some breakfast. Good morning. So, we are now on the Sleep Peninsula. This morning we were down in Sligerhan, taking photos of the old bridge, which is like the generic sky postcard photo, which turned out really nice actually, because it was quite a hazy, misty morning. 
So I'll show you that now. Then there was this old house just above Sligan. So you're just on the, on the road out before I get run over by this car. And uh, yeah, we put the drone up and the misty Cullens in the background and this small little white house provided a perfect little composition with the road and the river just winding up in front of it. So. Yes, take a look at this. So we're on the Sleet Peninsula and we were just driving around trying to find some unique shots because, well, we've been to most of the tourist sites at the moment and it seems a little quieter down here, apart from this car. And uh, just driving along, I found this tree just looking down the lock with the mountains in the background. And it looked fantastic, so we're just gonna go and check it out to see if there's anything good down there. Take a look at this. So there is no clear path across to this tree. Um, you just gotta walk up the road a bit from the parking lay-by and then make your way across. In places, the grass is up to me tits, but uh, I'm quite short, so it might just be up to your waist. But there is no clear path. It is just wild, trundle through, and then we make it to this viewpoint. Not sure if you can hear that, but over the way there's a wedding going on. Bryce just got into that little white building. And there's some bagpipes playing. quintessential Scotland. So I'm trying to find the composition here with this tree. And at the moment, I've got the 14 mil on, um, quite up close to the tree here. Just going for a wide angle, come a bit lower down, to see if I can get the nice purple heather in the foreground as the sun comes in across it. But um, if you go lower down, because this tree is on top of the hill, it's quite difficult to get the, the lock and the, the mountains in the background. So I might have to move a bit further back, maybe use a longer focal length and try and get the mountains as the background and the lock and there's a little white house on the corner there. So I'm gonna just have to try a few different things out to see what happens and uh, see which one looks the best after I've gone and edited them up. So we'll see, Kaz has got the drone up now. Not sure where she's taking it, but maybe over the lock. Look at her, concentrating really hard.
So I moved a bit further back now from where I was before, right next to the tree. And I've got the long boy on, the 100 to 400. And what I'm gonna try and do is just zoom in. I've got a little bit of elevation at this little ridge behind the tree. So I can get more of the lock in, more of the tree against the background. And hopefully that works out a little bit better because I was a bit too low close to the tree. So let's take some photos and see how it goes. So you find me on the side of the road again. <clears throat> Same place as I was the other day, actually, on the main drag through uh, Sky, <clears throat> going up this little valley. It's getting into the afternoon, and we just saw it's been it's been such a hazy day. You know, look, trying to look at some of the mountains in the distance has been near impossible. It's just been this blue haze everywhere. But hopefully this evening, it's going to make for some lovely light and some sun rays. So we're just driving down this road and just pull over in the same lay by we stayed at the, the other day. Because look at this. Some beautiful, hazy sun coming through this valley here. So I'll start to take a couple of photos. Let's see how they turn out. <laughs> 